Elise Cataldo and I'm here to talk about the bicycle test for spinal stenosis. This test is designed to determine the type of intermittent claudication a patient is experiencing. Intermittent claudication is defined by McGee as arterial insufficiency to the tissues. It often worsens with activity secondary to the increased demand that is placed on tissues. There are two types, vascular claudication and neurogenic claudication. Vascular claudication occurs when there is a blockage or narrowing of the arteries. This leads to decreased blood flow to the muscles of the legs. Neurogenic claudication occurs when there is a narrowing of the spinal canal, also known as spinal stenosis, that leads to venous pooling in the cauda equina, an area of the spinal cord, secondary to pressure. Both types of claudication will produce pain, paresthesia, limping, and cramping in the legs. This test is indicated when the patient is reporting signs and symptoms of either type of intermittent claudication. While there are no reported contraindications to this test, anyone who is contraindicated for exercise testing should not participate. According to the American Heart Association, this includes anyone with acute myocardial infarction, unstable angina, uncontrolled cardiac arrhythmias, symptomatic severe aortic stenosis, uncontrolled symptomatic heart failure, acute pulmonary embolism, acute myocarditis or pericarditis, and acute aortic dissection. Caution should also be exercised for patients with left main coronary stenosis, moderate stenotic valvular heart disease, electrolyte abnormalities, severe arterial hypertension, tachycardia, bradycardia, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, any mental impairments, and high degree atrial ventricular block. According to a case study report by Dyke et al. in 1977, the bicycle test demonstrates concurrent validity with myelographic studies. This test is conducted having the patient ride a stationary bike in an upright position until the lower extremity symptoms appear. The patient will then continue riding but in a slouched position if this slouch position alleviates the patient's symptoms, neurogenic claudication is indicated and physical therapy may continue to address the spinal stenosis. If in the slouch position the symptoms remain, vascular claudication is indicated and the patient should be referred to their doctor for further testing. Sarah will now conduct this test with Aaron to demonstrate. Hi Erin, my name is Sarah Kuiper. I'll be your physical therapist today. Uh, we're going to do a test to see if the symptoms you're having in your legs are the result of a vascular claudication or decreased blood supply to your legs or a neurogenic claudication, which is a compression of the nerve root in your low back. Uh, so we're going to do this test on the bike. First I'm going to have you sit on the bike. I'm going to decide if it's the proper fit. Okay. I'm going to have you ride at a moderate pace in an upright position until your symptoms come on. At that point, I'll have you lean forward, and then I just need you to tell me what happens to your symptoms, if they remain or if they go away. Okay. All right, so go ahead and hop up on the bike. Can you just straighten this leg down for me? Good. So this bike looks like it fits you pretty well because we're still maintaining a 30 degree angle in your knee, and you're able to maintain an upright position with this handlebars where they are. Uh, so go ahead and start pedaling at a moderate pace and tell me when your symptoms come up. Right about there. Okay. You can go ahead and slouch forward and let me know what that does to your symptoms. Oh, they're going away. Okay, good. You can stop and sit up. All right, so uh, that your symptoms went away, uh, that means that your symptoms in your legs are likely attributed to a compression in the nerve root in your low back, which is good because it's treatable with physical therapy. So we'll go through a series of flexion exercises and strengthening exercises to try and centralize your pain, uh, which hopefully will relieve the symptoms in your legs as well.